I'm joined with Aoife Horgan today of Treaty United. Aoife, the start of the season maybe hasn't been the best for Treaty, but what's the general feeling among the team at the moment? Yeah, look, obviously it's not the start that we would have wanted and like it's easy for me to sit here and say that we deserve better. You know, we worked hard in pre-season, but the reality is like the results, like, you know, when we've been losing and we've been losing heavily against probably the top teams and, you know, we, I think at the start of the season, it was a lot of a mentality sort of issue, but um, now we've kind of turned it on its head and, you know, we're, we put our hands up and said it wasn't good enough, but um. You know, many people are saying that um, we have a young squad and that that's a disadvantage and it's hard not having the experience. But in reality, like the it's an advantage considering, you know, the girls keep a positive mindset. And, you know, like we're going into the game now. We're idle this week, but we have a game against Cork and we're ready to win. Like, you know, we, we want them three points. So. Yeah. And what do you think that you've learned maybe from last season and from the start of this season that you're building on and that you're taking as positives to help you progress this season? Yeah, look, um, after the defeat, you know, we are disappointed and we're not a team that kind of makes up excuses for losing, um, you know, but I think um, confidence is an issue with, a, with the squad at the moment, you know, um, but we, we definitely are working on it. You know, we sat down as a team and we set our goals at the start of the season and it was definitely one of the goals to work on for the season ahead. And, um, you know, we don't consider it losing, we consider it learning, um, you know, so definitely, you know, we're obviously still disappointed we're losing, but um, we, we are learning a huge amount with, and with such a young squad, you know, you, you, that's all you can do really is learn. Yeah, that's a great point to make as well, because, I mean, losses have come against some of the really top teams that you're going to learn from um and as a young uh young team with not as much experience there's so much to take away from games like that so that's that's a great point to make do you feel that you have a big responsibility to get goals to help your team get points on the board oh uh, yeah look um like in order to have a successful team you need people to step up and have leaders on the team you know and I know I'm quite young but I consider myself as one of the leaders on the team you know um I've been playing the Women's National League now, this is my fourth year. So, um, you know, n not many people on the team have that experience. So I do consider myself as one of the leaders and I probably wouldn't be one to be the loudest in the dressing room or even on the pitch, but I try to show it in my actions and how I play, you know. Yeah. Um, and you're also on the team with your sister. How, how does that help? How does your partnership work? Does it benefit you on the pitch? Yeah, I think um, you know, you you have your own your understanding of your teammates and you you know, you gain that over training sessions and playing matches. But I think with my sister, I think we just have that understanding, like we don't have to play together, we just know that understanding and um it's easy to play with her as well, you know. She she gets me and I get her and we just know how each other play. So you get along well, there's never any kind of rows or tiffs in training or anything <laughs> like that. Yeah, she like if I didn't give her a nice pass you know she'd let me know and you know <laughs> but you need that yeah. sometimes a bit of tough love yeah and you've got a, you've got a sister in between the two of you as well Louise is it Louise yeah she's um think, she's she's in Scotland at the moment yeah do you think um the three of you will ever be on a, a national league team together um I don't think so no I don't no. think it's Lu Louise's desire no <laughs> oh that's no. fair enough um yeah. So what are your personal goals for the season? Um, club and maybe are you hoping to get into the national team? Um, just in general with football, what, what are you aspiring to? Yeah, definitely. Like, um, you know, that's where I want to go and that's where I hope to be. And, you know, I'll keep working hard for that to get into the national team. Um, you know, with regards club, I mean, I just want to keep contributing to the team, whether it's scoring goals, assisting, or even just making that last minute tackle to prevent a goal, because I've been in a defensive role, but I've also been in an attacking role with the club at the moment. So, um, you know, anyway, I can contribute to the team I'm happy with. Yeah. And um, what has been your career highlight so far, do you think? Oh, God. Um, yeah, that's a tough question. There, yeah, yeah. There's a few. Um, I'd say um 
I remember a game in the Women's National League. It was against DLR at home in Marketsfield. It was when we were Limerick FC, but um, it was, yeah, we were down 2-0 and we came back and beat them 3-2 and I scored two goals that day. And yeah, just that day, like, it was amazing because we weren't used to winning that many games. So yeah. it's nice to win at home. There could be a few moments like that this season because I feel like you're really not far off other teams. I know some of the goal margins are maybe disappointing to look at, but seeing the games and stuff, there's definitely positives there for you to take away. So hopefully some of those positive results will come your way as well as the season goes on. Um, But I just want to ask you as well, I know obviously because you play with your sister, is she your favourite person to play with on the pitch or are there other contenders for kind of who you have the best chemistry with and who you have a good partnership with? Yeah, God. Um, no, I, I definitely have to say her. Otherwise, she'd give out to me. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> no, but seriously, I, I enjoy playing with every single one of my teammates. But yeah, I suppose it's a, it's a bit more like, you know, she's my sister, so <laughs> I'll say <Yeah>. her. <laughs> and is, is there like a thing at home where you push each other more? Um, behind the scenes like not even just on the pitch but to do your own stuff outside of training yeah definitely I, I I think it's easier to do stuff at home with her here helping me and stuff Um, and you know she has a lot of coaching badges as well so like she knows how to she knows the coaching side of things but also the player's point of view and she pushes me to limits really and um, you know it only helps me and gets better so yeah do you think having that role model and you being still quite young does that help you to come on? Do you think you benefit a lot from that? Oh, definitely. Yeah, like, you know, she's she's definitely one of my players that I look up to. You know, she, she's she been around for a while in the Women's National League and she's done so and done very well in it. And like that, you know, I, I just look up to her really. And you mentioned earlier that you are quite a leader on the pitch and uh, like in the like in your team, um, you are still young. but you do have four years experience how how do you use both of those things to benefit your game and benefit your team being young but also having a bit of experience yeah so like being young you know we have that bit of we have that constant positive attitude and you know like yeah the goal margins haven't really been going our way and we're conceding quite a lot at the moment but we are remaining positive and we're believing in the process that the coaching staff have been giving us you know and we really do believe and um, I suppose being young you know you have that drive to get better and improve week in week out and just to like you know like improve basically like all your all attributes of your game and um, yeah. Well, it seems like you've got the right attitude definitely anyway and I'm sure that translates to the rest of the team they can probably pick up on that as well. But I know you're idle this week, so yeah. enjoy your rest and best of luck in the game against Cork the weekend after. And thanks very much for chatting with me. No problem. Thank you.